Yeah, this equation we are calling the damper simple harmonic motion. So if you observe this, um, we can, uh, if you observe this above equation, so this is the second order differential equation. So there, how many roots may be possible? Definitely, there will be two roots are possible. So if you find those roots, then we can tell that uh, that solution. We can say that is the damper simple harmonic motion. So now we are going to solve this equation. So how we can solve this equation? So solution of this equation. Solution of the above equation. Okay. For this let us assume let x is equal a into a to the power of alpha t. This is one solution. Let so see if you observe the above equation what is there d square x by dt square plus 2b into dx by dt plus omega square x is square this thing so already we are having x value next what we are having next dx by dt we need next what we need d square x by dt square we need so simply no need to find the x value already we are having directly we can substitute next what i want next dx by dt i want simply i am doing with respect to x sorry with respect to t what I mean this simply a is the constant. What is the differentiation e to the power of d by d by dx is equal to, e to the power of x means what we can write e to the power of x. Suppose ax is there, then what we can write a we can write that formula we can use simply. So what I can write here extra alpha will come. But is it sufficient? Huh? So substitute this in this equation, not sufficient. We need another one. Again, we have to do the differentiation with respect to same thing. So in this in that case, in that case, what happened? D square x by dt square is equal to what happened? A into e to the power of alpha t, then alpha square. So shall I write this side? Okay. Okay. So equation number five six seven substitute the equation number five six seven in four five six and seven in equation number four so what is the first term is that a into e to the power of all party next alpha square next 2b into what is that a into e to the power of alpha t into alpha next what is that omega square next how much is that a into e to the power of alpha t equal to 0 ok which term is here same uh, which term I can take common this is also there this is also there this is also there can I take that common ok then e to the power of alpha t how much is there alpha square 2b alpha plus omega square equal to 0 so next if a into e to the power of alpha t not equal to 0 means which one equal to 0 then remaining will be 0 alpha square next 2b alpha next omega square equal to 0 ok this equation looks like a quadratic equation so, so we have to find the roots okay how many roots may be exist there will be definitely two roots will be exist for that how we can find minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so how much is there here 2b is there plus or minus next how much is there 4 b square next what is there 4 omega square next by 2 a is equal to how much is there 1 is there then how much we can get minus 2b plus or minus can i take common to yes b square minus 4 omega square by 2 so what i mean here everywhere 2 is there 2 to gets cancelled if you take the common this will gets cancelled then what is the remaining last one minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus omega square this is the solution of our equation number fourth what is that minus b plus r minus under root of b square minus omega square then where we can substitute these values in the equation number fifth okay 
what is that x is equal to uh, tell me what is that first one a into e to the power of alpha t so here what what we got actually we got which equal to actually this is equal to alpha equal which equal this is alpha equal to. then what i can write x is equal to a1 into e to the power of alpha is equal to how much minus b plus under root of b square minus omega square this is one next one what we can write into t next a2 into e to the power of minus b minus under root of b square minus omega square into t okay this this is the solution of the our damped harmonic motion so x is equal to x1 a in, into e to the power of plus b square minus omega square into t plus a2 where a1 and a2 are arbitrary constants okay if you find then you can substitute then you will get your answer this is about the damped simple harmonic motion okay there are some conditions will be exist in this case okay there are three cases will be exist okay first one over damping over damping next second one critical damping next third one under damping these are the three okay when we can say over damping when we can say critical damping when we can say under damping if you read any entrance then you will get this here so what is the first what is the relation here actually there b square omega square between only relation will be there so we can say that is a over damping when we can say means b square greater than omega square this condition we can say over damping if b square is equal to omega square then we can say that is the critical damping next one b square less than omega square. actually this is not w this is omega square then we can say this is the under damping okay next we are going to see that energy how much energy we are having in this case okay the e is equal to what we can write 1 by 2 mu a square e to the power of minus 2 b t or else sometime in some textbooks they are writing e is equal to 1 by 2 k a square e to the power of minus 2 bt also they are writing both are both are same only a so next power of dissipation is there what is the next one power of dissipation patient what is the power of dissipation means this is, this is de by dt so already we are having this value simply so we have to do with respect to time so what is the power of dissipation means the ratio difference between the energy and with respect to time then we can say that is the power of dissipation see e and v okay what is the derivative means when we are doing the small fraction that we can small changes with respect uh, small changes in where to where energy and time with respect to energy and time so here minus d by dt so e is equal to how much is there 1 by 2 k or mu that is cho your choice a square e to the power of minus 2 bt okay see here 1 by 2 constant next k also constant next a also constant so this also constant this also this also constant so ring right outside what happened minus 1 by 2 k a square d by dt e to the power of minus 2 b t so already just now i said about this e to the power of x e to the power of x what happened minus 1 by 2 k a square e power minus 2 b t again how much is there minus 2 b okay let us take this is a equation number one okay p is equal to how much we got finally minus 1 by 2 k a square 
e power minus 2bt into how much I got minus 2b b is equal to can I write from uh, first term this side and this term that side okay. minus 2b into minus 1 by 2 k a square like this. okay if you observe carefully what I have and this is from the equation number one seeing all of you what I can write in this place simply I can substitute the e e is equal minus 2b into how much is that where is that e I can write here see Okay, all of you understood. No? Then what I have in here? Minus is there. Minus minus what I have in here? 2 B E. This we are calling that is the our power dissipation. Okay. This is about the brief information. Damped simple harmonic motion. We discussed about that. We derived the equation also. Isolize. Next two, we have seen the solution also. Next finally we have uh, directly I have written actually this derivation is there but uh, in our syllabus it is not there simply we can write that next to all this power of dissipation power of dissipation also it is not there but it is a very small fraction due to that I said okay this is about the brief information about the dampened simple harmonic motion